My name is Sally Golding and um, I'm primarily a Tai Chi teacher now but I also have been for the last 20 years um, an aromatherapist, a Reiki practitioner, an Indian head massage person and a reflexologist. But you see me now in the park about to do some Tai Chi classes this morning. I was working for a very large computer company and I had been with them for nearly 20 years and at the, the last position I had was um, business administration manager and I was responsible for a, a 30 million pound part of the company for all the administration and it, would, and it was very stressful. Because I had been so stressed I had started taking Tai Chi classes and this was way back in 1990, I'm not exactly sure when I started. And four or five years after that I was then asked to stand in for a friend because she was teaching so I did a little standing in teaching and gradually I had my own classes from about 1998. The concept of Tai Chi was originally a martial art way back in the histories, books, but now or in the last 50 to 100 years and particularly when it's come out into the West it's done mostly for relaxation and health. In the Tai Chi moves, each one of them is um, based on a, a, poten a potential application for fighting and so there's specific movements for hands and feet so it's to be, be, um, to be rooted so that you won't fall over and to potentially um, block or defend or attack an opponent. You kind of, you don't disappear but you go very much inside yourself, you're focusing on your breathing and the correctness and the fluidness of the moves and making sure that it is very calm and relaxing and making sure the breathing goes down. So you stop thinking about anything outside yourself. You stop thinking about what am I going to have for dinner and I had a you know, dreadful drive or something like that. You really go into a very calm mental state. It is often referred to as moving meditation, Tai Chi is. And then in 2003, a friend of a friend in Enfield Council said, would you come and teach here in Enfield? And I live about uh, 15 miles away. And I said, no, I don't want to. And they encouraged me to do so. And that was 12 years ago. And I'm still here, coming down into Enfield Borough. And then, um, uh, about four years ago, we just came back from China. And um, I got back and they said, would you start teaching in the park? And I went, no, I don't want to do that either. Thank you very much. And then it happened and it started. And it's the best thing I've ever done. I absolutely love teaching in the park. <laughs>